actually, the story started before I was born. Um, when my grandmother was 33 years old in 1970, she was diagnosed with um, breast cancer. And back then they didn't have good treatments. And she was told that she had six months to live. The ending of that story is that she actually survived 43 more years. But my mother, who was her 12 year old, um, was very impacted by the experience. And so she went to medical school and she went into radiology. She was doing something that she often did, which is testing out new equipment on herself. And she found her own breast cancer. She had chemotherapy and surgeries, um, and thank God she's fine. I was very aware of my own family history. So at age 22, I got tested for the genetic mutation, and I had it. And I made a commitment to do everything possible to not be the third generation of women in their 30s to get this disease. I had prophylactic mastectomies. After my surgeries, I wanted to just give back and say thank you. So I joined the board of the organization. I was a lawyer here in DC. I thought if I can do good by sharing my story and using my legal skills and my nonprofit skills to um, build the organization, then that's what I want to do with my life. So that's why. I'm here. The Brem Foundation is a 501c3, we're a nonprofit that's focused entirely on early detection. And the reason we focus on early detection um, that breast cancer is a curable disease when it's caught early. So over 95% of women who find this disease early are cured, are fine, and they live great lives. Um, but in the United States alone last year, 40,450 women died from breast cancer, which keeps me awake at night because I think we have the technology, we have the education, we know that when women find this disease early, they're fine, and yet women are still dying. The interest of saving your own life or the life of somebody that you love, if you, if you find a lump or a bump or anything irregular, nipple discharge, um, Find somebody that you trust, that you can talk to, so that they can help you find it. Find medical advice and help and care, because it really is a matter of life and death. And while I appreciate that there are cultural norms and social stigmas, um, living and dying is more important than that.